This is the fourth in a series of videos where we'll be working through the creation of this scene from design, modeling, UV mapping, texturing and animation. If this content interests you, but you have no patience, check out my Udemy courses for in-depth ArcViz courses. Use the link in the description below for a great discount. Hit the subscribe button under this video and use the bell icon for notifications. Also hit the thumbs up so this video reaches more people. In this video we'll continue modeling the building. We start extruding and blocking in the shape. Let's begin by tapping back to object mode. We can press F4 and open preferences. In the add-ons tab we can make sure and enable the measure it add-on. This is an essential tool for getting measurements and we can use it to check we are modeling to the correct dimensions. X preferences once that's enabled. Then on the sidebar in the view tab the measure it add-on will be available. We can grab and drag to the top. Let's tab back into edit mode. Select the two end vertices first and on the add-on click segment. We also need to click show as it's off by default when you first start. We need to add some extrusions to the building and the measure it add-on can be useful to display those dimensions. There is a panel to configure the dimensions with some settings. After they are added the settings can be adjusted here. Let's press Z and switch to wireframe. Press Ctrl plus R and add an edge loop around the building. Left click and right click and add that here. Select an end vertex and one from the edge loop. Now get the segment from the add-on. This edge needs to be 2.3 meters from the ground. So Alt select this again. First from the snap menu we can switch on vertex snapping. Press G, Z and snap to the ground level first. Press G, Z, input 2.3 and enter. Having the dimensions can be a good way to make sure sizes are correct. Let's add another edge loop around the building and snap to the edge loop below here. Now G, Z, input 0.6 and enter. If we select two vertices we can check this is in fact 2.9 meters. Next we can extrude the porch area. We can switch to face select up top here. Select this front face. Press E, X, input 2 and enter. To keep quads as we block this in, let's add an edge loop around here. Then snap to the extrusion. Select it all now. Press M and merge by distance. Set the distance to 1 mm from the options box here and remove any doubled up vertices. Switch to face select again. Next we can select these seven faces around this balcony area. Hold shift and add to the selection. Be careful not to select distant faces. Press X and delete faces. We can X off the dimensions as when you make changes to the geometry the dimensions get corrupt. We can switch back to solid shading and start filling back in this area. Switch to vertex selection. Select these four vertices here. Press F and create a face. Select the next four and fill this also. Finally Alt select the last four and fill this area with a face. Next we can block in the balcony. Press Ctrl plus R and add an edge loop and drag this over to the edge. Press G, Y, input 0.5 and enter. Another edge loop here. Now drag this back. Now add an edge loop on the right side and drag to the edge. Press G, Y, input minus 0.5 and enter. We can add in another at the front. Now drag this back. Another edge loop here. This isn't adding an entire loop. So we can cancel. Press Z and switch to wireframe. Also switch to face select. Select this interior face here. Press X and delete this. Switch back to solid shading. Now add this edge loop in here. Move this away 0.5 also. And finally add an edge loop on the very right side of the balcony. Now drag this back 
minus 0.5 along the Y axis. Let's switch back to face select. Select the outer faces around here that will be extruded to form the balcony wall. Then press E, input 0.34 and enter. Let's add an edge loop around here and snap down to the top of the wall. Select it all, press M and merge by distance and remove overlapping vertices. Next, we can remove the faces where the windows will be positioned. First, add an edge loop on the right side and drag to the edge. Press G, Y, input minus 0.5 and enter. Repeat that on the opposite side and add an edge loop. Then drag along the Y by 0.5. Switch to face select and select these front faces around to here. Also the bottom faces on the balcony. Press X and delete faces. Remove these tree side faces also. One thing we will need are internal floors. Select the faces on the bottom here, right up to the balcony area. Press Shift plus D, Z and snap up to this level. Press Shift plus D, Z again and this time snap up to form the ceiling. Select it all and press M and remove overlapping vertices. Another thing we'll need here is wall thickness on the floors. Let's all select these faces first. Press P and separate by selection. Let's tab back and select these now. In the item tab, make sure the scale is 1. If not, press Ctrl plus A and apply scale. These are fine, so let's tab into edit mode. Select the front two faces, press X and delete faces. Open the modifiers tab and in here we can add a solidify modifier. The thickness can be increased to 0.5 and match the width we want. That distorts the wall a little and this can usually be caused by reversed faces. So in the overlays menu we can switch on face orientation. There are faces on both parts reversed so let's tab back to object mode and select it all. And tab into edit mode. Press A and select it all. From the mesh menu we can come down to normals and from here choose recalculate outside. That fixes it so let's tab back and select the wall again. Also switch off the face overlay. In the modifiers tab press ctrl plus A and apply the modifier. Let's press the forward slash key and isolate this object. We can remove both the top and bottom faces. So press numpad 1. Also switch to wireframe shading. Tab into edit mode. Drag select the top faces. Press shift and drag select the bottom. Press X and delete faces. Let's return to global and also tab back to object mode. Shift select the main building. Press ctrl plus J and join these back together. Tab into edit mode. Press Z and switch to solid shading. Now we need to fill in the remaining gaps. We can alt select the bottom edge loop. Then press shift and deselect the front two edges. Press E, Z and snap these down. Press A and select it all. Press M and we can merge by distance and remove any overlapping vertices and join this completely. The shading looks very bad so open the object data tab. In normals we can uncheck auto smooth. Also tab back to object mode, right click and we can shade flat.